Hello and welcome to this video on chromatography. Chromatography is a method used in different areas of science, like chemistry or biology, for separating a mixture into the things that make it up. The chromatography that I'm going to be showing you on this video will use different markers to see what individual colors make up each shade of marker that we're using. For example, here in the left, I use the purple marker. You can see some of the purple, but also there's some reds and pinks as well that made up that purple color. Overall, there are different types of chromatography used because it can separate a mixture into different components. It can help identify what things make up the mixture that you're looking at how much of those things you have. Um, chromatography can also purify the things that are in the mixture. Not all types of chromatography involve different colors like this. Sometimes it will just be colorless or you won't necessarily see the chromatography happening, like if it's happening inside of a machine or instrument. But chromatography is done on mixtures that are either liquid or gas. These were done using pieces of a coffee filter that I cut up. Uh, you can also use a paper towel. The strips that I'm going to cut this into are going to be about one inch wide and aim for at least four inches tall or long. Longer would be a little bit better, even if you can get um, even double that size. Besides the coffee filter or paper towel, I'm going to take a marker I want to test. I will test with black. I'm also going to fill up some sort of container with a little bit of water. Then I need some way of suspending this filter inside so that the bottom will touch the water. I've been using a wooden stick with a binder clip. Our goal of this experiment is to make a little line or a dot with our marker onto our paper up toward the bottom. And then after dipping the paper into the water and letting it sit, so the water will travel up, taking some of the marker with it toward the top. And as it moves up, the different colors that make up the marker will separate. I'm going to draw my marker on the bottom down here at the spot that I'm going to mark with a line using a pencil, not a pen, at this starting line, leaning on a piece of paper in case the marker bleeds through. I'm going to draw my marker to place my ink onto the filter. I'm going to stop before I get to either end. I want this space here on the left and the right. Now let this dry for at least a couple minutes or so. I'm going to be putting mine a little bit above the bottom of the container, maybe half an inch or so. I'm going to then add some water to the bottom of the container just enough so that the bottom of my chromatography paper just dips in the water without going too low. The goal is to make sure the water level is below the black line I drew so that the water will dry it up rather than the black line being submerged in the water and leaking into the water and, and affecting uh, the spread of the marker upward. I'm going to take this out and pour. You could leave this in while you pour if you do it carefully so that it, so that it doesn't splash on the paper. Now it's dipped in the water. The water is going to rise slowly up the paper. It's now drawing in the ink. 
we can already see some purple toward the bottom, some blues, maybe greens on the side top here, and the black is drying up. One important thing to note here is that the water is rising up in the opposite direction of gravity due to something called capillary action. Capillary action is when, in this case, water is flowing through small spaces. There are small spaces in a filter paper or paper towel um, that you're using. Water is attracted to the side of the, the small channels or tubes and can climb up it a little bit. And as it climbs up, the water will draw other water molecules with it. The reason that different colors are traveling up at different speeds, the purple a little bit slower, so it's at the bottom, and the blues and greens a little bit faster, so it's toward the top, is because the blues and greens, the ones moving faster, are more attracted to the water, so they travel with the water, than the purples, which are a little bit more attracted to the filter paper. This can take several minutes to travel up. The longer you let it go, the more separation you might see. Just with a note to stop it as it gets a little bit toward the top. And now toward the end of the experiment, slowly take it out. I can already analyze my results a little bit. We ha there is some pink toward the bottom and the blues and greens toward the top. So the these, together possibly with some other colors, make up the black ink from the black marker. You can also do colorful chromatography like this using permanent marker if you do that. Permanent marker might not flow well with water, like a water-soluble marker would. So for something like that, you might try combining some isopropyl alcohol, also known as rubbing alcohol, together with water. You can also try collecting leaves during the fall to analyze the fall colors of the foliage and what makes them up even with food dyes, like the dyes and candy. And just to note, whatever you're working with, just be careful that you don't stain your clothes or objects around you when you're working. Thank you for watching the video.